This is the story of our most excellent dads. I'm Bill S. Preston, Esquire. And I'm Ted Theodore Logan. And, and we're, we're Wild Stallions! This was probably the first time you saw him. Let's rock! And this was probably the last. Not long before we were born, they were told they were gonna write a song that was gonna unite the entire world. Which they thought they had done with their hit single, Those Who Rock. Not only did it not unite the world, but the band fell apart. And our dads, alone now, were trying harder and harder. But the problem was, the harder dads tried, the less interested people seemed to be in their music. Not only was it wearing on them and on the family, but the universe they were told they were gonna bring together was actually starting to unravel. It was bad. Totally, dude. Anyways, this is how we got to where we are now. Hello, friends and loved ones. Let us welcome you, one and all, to this most joyous of occasions. Ted and I have known Missy in different capacities for many decades. First, she was our babysitter when we were 10. Then we both invited her to the prom when she was a senior and we were freshmen. Yeah. Two years later, she married my dad, and Missy became mom. After divorcing Bill's dad, she married my dad and became my mom. Yeah. And now she's marrying Ted's little brother, Officer Deacon Logan. Yeah. Missy, Bill and I, along with my beautiful wife, Elizabeth, and our daughter, Billy. And my beautiful wife, Joanna, and our daughter, Thea. All want to welcome you back with, with open, open arms. arms. This happy event would seem to make Deacon his own father-in-law, and Ted his own uncle. <laughs> Not to mention making my dad his own son. <laughs> but with that beautiful thought in mind, for your first dance, we wish to present you with a matrimonial offering, a sneak peek at the world premiere of our newest sonic creation. We're not sure if this is going to be the song that unites the world. We're pretty sure it might. At least we hope. Sure to be another real doozy from the Wild Stallions. Check one, two. Oh, let's dance, Freaky Dicky. Mm. Mm. You got a kissy, Missy? Oh, shh. Your dad used to call me that. I totally wear that, babe. Please enjoy the first three movements of That Which Binds Us Through Time, The Chemical, Physical, and Biological Nature of Love. An exploration of the meaning of meaning, part one. <laughs> Ready, Bill? Ready, Ted. One, two, one, two, three, four. Whoa. Told you a thousand times. Bill and I have to keep going. Yeah, yeah, till... yeah, yeah, yeah. Till your music unites the world. Chief Logan, the people in the future told us that. Bill, if... Bill, Bill, you didn't time travel. We did. Your wives aren't from medieval England. They are. And you didn't go to heaven and hell. We did. You didn't. We did. And you know why? 
Because it's impossible. Here's a real idea for you, too. Here comes, dude. Get real jobs. Be role models to your daughters. Oh, never mind. You are. They're 24, they live at home, and they're unemployed. You remember when you used to call them Little Bill, Little Ted? We thought it was cute, Gramps. <laughs> well, it turned out to be a curse. All I ever see them do is sit around, listen to music. That is our primary activity, definitely. Yeah. If that's okay. Joanna, Elizabeth, how do you feel about being the only adults in your families, the only ones with actual jobs? Let's pack up. Ouch. Wait. 